Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. And uh, as we continue our journey towards Easter, and we're looking at people involved in the story of Jesus' uh, death, burial, and resurrection, uh, today we're talking about somebody who's a little uh, less prominent in our conversations usually, but he's very significant in the story of Jesus. And that is Caiaphas the high priest. Now, uh, Caiaphas isn't a name that rolls off a lot of people's lips, uh, but, uh, but at the time of Jesus' arrest, he was the high priest, which meant that he led the Sanhedrin, which condemned Jesus to death. And so it was Caiaphas and some of his uh, friends, uh, family members that were related to him, that orchestrated uh, the, the betrayal of Jesus. They were looking for ways to uh, arrest Jesus and get rid of him as a problem. And so they're the ones who made the deal with Judas to, to betray Jesus for 30 pieces of silver. And once Jesus was arrested, he was brought to the palace or the house of Caiaphas. And uh, it was there that Jesus was mocked and, and tortured. It was there that uh, Peter denied knowing who Jesus was. Uh, and it was there that a mock trial, I say mock because it was a travesty of justice and of law, but a trial was held with members of the Sanhedrin uh, and Caiaphas, the high priest. And, and it was there that uh, they lined up all kinds of false accusations against Jesus, and, and they con contradicted each other. None of them held water. And finally, they just asked Jesus, are you the Messiah? And Jesus said, I am. And, uh, and Caiaphas tore his robes and said, you're guilty of blasphemy. Uh, you deserve death, and that's when they decided to hand him over to Pilate and try to orchestrate Jesus' execution under Rome. Uh, that's who Caiaphas was and what he did, but you know what amazes me about Caiaphas? He was God's representative, the high priest, in the whole nation of Israel. He was God's representative, God's spokesperson uh, for the Jews, and yet he missed God's son right in front of him. He missed him. His, his arrogance and his knowledge and his uh, just certainty about his rightness cost him to miss the presence of God in the flesh. Here's the guy who's supposed to be calling people to remember the Exodus event, the Lamb of God that, that provided uh, uh, you know, deliverance from the death angel and, and how God led his people out of captivity. And here is the Lamb of God standing in front of him and he missed him. And, and it makes me wonder how many of us miss Jesus right in front of us. I know there's people out in this world who are too smart for their own good, who think they know too much and who are arrogant and they miss that life-changing relationship with Jesus Christ. I get that. And I grieve that. And that's why we do what we do here at Calvary, trying to lead people to that life-changing relationship with Jesus. But, but I also wonder how many Christians who think they're so right all the time uh, start acting like Caiaphas, start acting like they know everything and start acting out of arrogance and, and disrespect towards other believers and other people, and, and they really miss the spirit of Jesus who is right there with them. Um, you know, Jesus said, uh, by this all men will know that you're my disciples if you love one another. And unfortunately, I've grown up around a lot of Christians who weren't very loving, but they were arrogant, and they were sure that they were right all the time. And I'm pretty sure that they missed the presence of God right in front of them. So I want to challenge you. Uh, open your eyes. Let go of your arrogance. Let go of your rightness. And humble yourself enough to say, God, help me to see you where I don't expect to see you. See, Caiaphas didn't expect to see the Messiah standing in front of him because he wasn't looking for him. How about if we invite God to open our eyes to help us to see his goodness, his power, his grace, his people. And then let's, you and I, be the love of Jesus to them. Because if we do that, we're going to lead a lot more people to a life-changing relationship with Jesus. And, and we'll be in step with the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world, rather than oblivious to his presence. So I guess what I'm saying is don't be like Caiaphas. Open your eyes, humble yourselves, and see Jesus. 
I hope that helps you, and I hope you have a great day. God bless, and God go with you.